Hey everybody, it's me, Sean, and welcome back, or welcome to um, Depraved. That's right, I have started up a new town, our last town, not doing so hot. This one, we're going to see how well it's going to do. So I haven't done too much, I've just kind of gotten through the boring basics, which is a good thing, because this is like an episode and a half's worth of work, about 40 minutes, just to get a d good, uh, what, uh, 16 little house sheds built up and, and a town hall sawmill woodcutter a hunter and a lumberjack so uh we're going to get a church going up next and after that it's going to be a warehouse and then probably have to start um i guess like wheat and stuff i ah, boy it's so hard to tell so many so many difficult decisions to make uh but we've got our hunter going here he doesn't really seem to have a lot of um i guess there's some buffaloes to hunt We've got a dead guy there. Uh, a few people have died. That's right, we need a doctor. I think a doctor is probably, well, maybe not our next uh, our next thing. Probably a tailor, because people are gonna need clothes, but everybody's demanding a church right now. And that's why we have a woodcutter, not because of the church, but because people were demanding logs. We are pretty short on firewood. Also seem to be not so heavy on logs. Do we have logs piling up over here or something? What's going on? And this guy's homeless. Hmm. Well, we're gonna need more houses. We always need more stuff. You can't, it's hard to keep up. We need a, a stable for our horses. Just need a little bit of everything here. So we're gonna, uh, we're gonna see what we can do and try to get this stuff built. We don't have a, a well yet, uh, but we have plenty of water at this point. Um, so I tried to find a good starting point. We do have uh, coal and iron available, so we should be able to start mining those things when we get to that point. Um, you can see there within our radius. Now, because we have those within our radius, our space is gonna be a little tight, but we got plenty of room over here. We can do some farms and stuff over here and uh, probably most of our industry over here and uh, we've got some additional wood. I think we'll run out of lumber is probably gonna be our first shortage because we don't have a ton of trees, to be honest. We've got a pretty good little batch over here, but there's also bears in these woods. So we're gonna need to do something about that. Uh, but, you know, we're, we're fine for now. Um, like I said, we do, are going to need water, though, because you can see our water is already starting to drop. Our food is dropping a little bit, but we've got our hunter to take care of that. I guess I should maybe move him over to a area that's a little more productive, like that, where we've got those buffalo hanging out down in there. Uh, although he's still working on chopping these guys up, so maybe I moved the... You know what? I might have moved the thing too soon. Let's... Um, Let's not do that. Oh, that's not what I want to do either. All right, let's try doing this. So we get those guys back within the circle and now we're in good shape. Oh, looks like a bear attack there. We need to, uh, that's why the game was paused. We need to get that bear killed, but he's gonna kill. Oh, nice job, fella. Took him on on your own. Well, I don't really want you guys to stop. I want you to just go about your day-to-day -day lives. And we're going to need to get a doctor before too long because, yeah, we're going to keep losing our people. But now we've got our church, so that's a good thing. <clears throat> we also need stone. We also need a warehouse. Oh, boy, we need so many things. I think I'm going to get that warehouse first. Um, a doctor would be nice. I don't like having people die, but they also get replaced pretty much immediately. So being able to store... Oh, we need a stone thingy too, come to think of it. But let's go ahead and put our warehouse down right there. And um, we are, we're not really all that heavy on planks, but we're chopping down... Uh, oh, well, we were chopping down plenty of trees. Maybe not so much now. Um, let's, uh, let's go ahead and reassign the chopping down area there, but we've cleared out room to build in. I guess we need to clear those trees out too. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Oh, that's our lumberjack that got, uh, that got mauled by that bear, huh? It's too bad. 
I don't think people really build skills in this game, though. So, oh yeah, that's right. We need water for sure. Have we gotten all of our... No, we haven't. We do have plenty of stone, so if I start making that well, it's not really going to cause us any problems there. Let's see, 648. Looks like 648 is about the best we're going to be able to get. So I may as well have it in this convenient location over here. Come on, I want you sideways. There you go. 648. Very good. There we are. Great. Okay, I don't know why I didn't really want to snap down there, but now I got it down. We're making good progress on the warehouse. We'll get this well going, and then, you know, I really want to get that grain farm going. Like, nobody gets upset that we don't have a doctor. Oh, you know what? We need a toilet, that's for sure. Set it up over here near where people live so they can use it in the mornings. I'm sure whoever is living in this shed is going to be thrilled at where I placed it. But, you know, too bad. Too bad. You're going to have to deal with it, as they say. But look at this. Nice warehouse. So we're going to be able to fill that up with all of our stuff. We won't have to worry about running out of stuff. Um, although, I believe we probably need another woodcutter, too. Lumberjack, whatever. One of those dudes. Because we um, don't really seem to be keeping up on the amount of wood that we need. Ah, boy, I, I might have to do that right from the uh, right from the get-go because we. I mean, I guess I could I could try buying some logs. We do have plenty of cash. If I import, oh, logs cost seventeen. I don't remember how many uh, planks you get from a thing of logs, but we'll buy some. Because right now we just don't have, uh, like, I want our manpower to be used elsewhere. And we can turn those logs into a lot of different things. Uh, we've got plenty of meat. We do need a doctor. Yep. That's our lumberjack. He's been working hard. And he's going to die from his injuries. Kind of no getting around that, unfortunately. The well's coming along quite well. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, you're welcome, everybody. It's zingers like those. That's why I've got so many subscribers. People people love my jokes. And also the fact that I mm, enjoy delicious tea and other hot beverages while I record. So I'm recording this after work on Friday. That's right. Last night when you're watching this, if you watch this the day it comes out, I recorded this last night. Not very often I get a fast turnaround like that anymore. But really have been looking forward to playing Depraved again. Uh, this is such a fun game. I was pretty excited to load it back up, and I'm glad that I did, because even though it's, you know, it's kind of a slow-paced game, but I don't really mind stuff being slow-paced. It doesn't hurt. I mean, it makes it a little challenging sometimes for making videos, if I'm going to be completely honest. But it's not, it's not terrible. All right, so I do need more housing, that's for sure. Before we can do more housing, we're going to need bricks. Can I can I manage to set this up between these two stone deposits? I can't. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and place it right here. Oh. Or not. Oh, bandits. Yeah, see. Oh, bandits have settled down already? Holy crap. How are we supposed to deal with that? Where did they settle down at? Let's uh, orient the camera properly. So they've settled down. Oh, they're going to be burning up my lumberjack? We are not ready for bandits yet. Wow. That's, uh, that's definitely a surprise. So we need to kind of make our way to a sheriff... Uh, as quickly as possible. We need to keep our eye out for, um, for uh, gunslingers because obviously we're going to need gunslingers too. Now, to get a sheriff's office going, you need settlers, yeah. So in order to get settlers, I need 40 pioneers before I can uh, even get started on that. 
And to get those pioneers, I will need more. Uh, I will need uh, some uh, more housing, which basically means stones and planks and those sort of things. So we're gonna get to it. Like here comes the stones already. That won't take too long to start getting those in. And uh, we do have a bunch of logs that we can use up to uh, make into planks. So you know, just need to just need to give it time on that. Uh, who's this? Is that a... I guess that's a new resident? Yay? Why do people keep moving here? We don't have enough homes as it is. I've only got homes for 16 people. We're getting way too many people in here. I am going to need a tailor. Uh, do we... I don't think we have any clothing at all. So I probably ought to get him going. Over here is where we have our hunter's shack, right? So I'll go ahead and put the tailor in next to that. And um, I guess I definitely should start doing some additional houses. Oh, a doctor, yeah. I guess I can do a doctor. Right there. Can I get this building in this direction? I think that's too tight. And I think that people won't be able to walk through there. There we are. So we'll do it. We'll go ahead and do it that way. I'm trying to not waste too much space on people walking around. And also, I've, I'm hoping it'll make for nice, neat uh, roads. So where, where did my guy die at? Oh, it's probably it was probably the lumberjack who had just been wandering around since the bear attack and not dying he's finally died so i guess i shouldn't worry too much about it i would want to try to put additional i, I definitely need to leave this mining area open it's too bad i can't see what how much space those mines take up yeah they require settlers it's gonna be a while before we have any settlers so I can't really, but I, I know they're big and weird. I don't even know if I have enough room left open as it is. I mean, I feel like there's going to be enough room over here, but I guess not. Even even that could uh, could be in the way, that lumberjack shed. Well, we've got bandits coming in and stealing stuff. It's not good. Yep. Production area of some of our or the storage is full in some of our production buildings. That, I believe. Oh, wait, no, yeah, it just takes furs or linens. It doesn't take both. Get these little, what's up with these? Um... Like, we haven't had that many people die, have we? I feel like only five or six people have, well, I guess that would be five or six, wouldn't it? Hmm. A horse has died. Yeah, that's not good. Can do, do they chop up horses for food? Like, it seems like that would be a smart thing to do. Horse. No, doesn't say. Owner, none. All right, well, that sucks. Because I, I don't like having a dead horse laying around costing us money. Or not costing us money, but spreading illness. That didn't really seem to be a problem last time we played. It seems like things are advancing pretty quickly this game compared to the last game. And not in the good way where like my town is advancing quickly because it's growing fast. But like the difficulty is advancing quickly because I'm not keeping up with things the way that I should. Uh, let's go ahead and build this stable since we've got horses dying and whatnot. Another horse died. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's not good at all. Um, especially since it doesn't really give us uh, an option what to do with these dead horses. So we'll build a stable, which will help keep our horses alive. And I can just start selling them, I suppose, to, you know, leave more room for more horses, I guess. 
get in here and take a look at things while they work on building up our stable. A lot of people, we've got plenty of laborers, so there's that to be said about our town. No shortage of laborers. Um, and we have a good number of planks too, which I'm quite happy about. So I'm going to see if I can get, let's see, we've got basically, we've got our doctor now. So we've got our primary needs met, except for housing. We definitely need more housing. So let's see if we can, uh, I don't want to build housing over here because of the, the mine. I guess I could build housing here, although it kind of puts people in like um, danger of bear attacks. But I'll put a couple of them over there. Probably do some over here too. There we go. Great. Have I mentioned I want to try to keep my industry sort of centered? I, I don't know how much that's going to help, but that is sort of my goal. Okay, so I was kind of hoping this guy would be able to chop up the horses and like use them for food. I guess we're too fancy for that sort of thing. But we're going to go ahead and going to move this over to here for now. Uh, so it's what? Um, a horse is starving. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're going to take care of that soon, I hope. That is my goal. There are not enough workers in Alation Creek. I, I mean, I'm building houses as quick as I can. And we've got more starving horses. Oh boy, oh boy. This is all happening so fast. But our little town is coming along, I must say. Nice little main street going from the stable down to the town hall to the sawmill and the woodcutter. Get some more industry in here. I wanna let these houses get built before I start pushing for additional uh, manufacturing and stuff. Look at all these homeless people we have. We've got six homeless, wow. So we're gonna need almost all of our houses just to get rid of the homeless. And then if I wanna try, try to start transitioning these tents over to houses, which would be nice. We're gonna need an awful lot of houses to accommodate that. But, you know, we somehow managed it in the last game. I hope we can manage it in this one too. What are our bandit, these bandit jerks up to? Can't really get any info out, out of them. I was hoping that the bandits would like get attacked by bears or something. Look at all these bears hanging around. These guys picked a terrible spot to build their uh, camp. Go to that building. There you go, thank you. So the hunter's thing is full, huh? There's a lot of food there, but we don't really have that much extra food to be honest. And it's fall. So not really any point in building the wheat production until next spring. I think we can make it through winter just fine without it. We've got plenty of firewood, which is good. We need that. We've burned through almost all of our logs, so we really could use a second log thing. I guess our, our lumberjack died. That's probably the one that had been attacked by the bear previously. Not entirely sure. I think I'm going to go ahead and build another lumberjack. And, uh, I mean, I guess I'll build them over on this side because all the lumber is, or not all the lumber, but there's a good amount of lumber on this side. We can just tear it down later on. I don't like building something and then tearing it down later, but we, you know, we might want to use the space for something else. It's not that expensive. It costs two tools and 15 lumber, but lumber is pretty cheap. And I mean, that's what this building is going to produce in the long run. <sighs> Got a good amount of firewood. What's this thief stealing? Where did he go? He got away pretty, pretty quick. That running buffalo startled me. Yep, I get that the woodcutters thing is full. A resident of Alation's Creek is being attacked. 
Oh, he's being attacked by a bear. It's probably the woodcutter again. It seems like our woodcutter is constantly getting attacked. Sure enough, lumberjack. Because the lumberjack is out in a uh, out in the woods. But we now we have a doctor, so I don't really need to. Um, like, it's not a death sentence necessarily. But here comes another bear ready to attack. Hey, you guys, I told you to attack that bear. Oh, are you kidding me? Attack the effing bear. Why are you not attacking him? The little thing turns into a target, and I click on him. Jeez Louise. So now I've got two injured people. That's going to take forever. Hopefully that's all the bears, but that's like all the bears that were supposed to be keeping me uh, protected from the bandits. All right, you, you need to go to the doctors, buddy. There we go, thank you. And are you going to the doctors? No, why not? You need to. All right, great. Uh, I get so stressed out, this game. I don't like seeing my people die, even though it probably doesn't really matter in the big scheme of things. Uh, not a fan of these dead horses. What is there to do about them? Like, I mean, I guess I get, like, don't let them die. But who's going to do something with this horse? This guy? Can I tell him to take the horse? Will he, like, own the horse after he does it? Uh, he, hey, look at that. He did take it to the stable. Nice. All right. Good job, buddy. That doesn't help you carry logs or stone or anything, but it got that horse put away. I'd like to get some of this stuff put away, too. Why are we not putting more stuff away? I mean, these are all things that could be put away. We've got water in here. We've got meat. Most of our meat is sitting out in the open. That seems dangerous. But I guess it only uh, it's only dangerous if the meat is like horse meat, which apparently nobody is, wants to eat. People are too scared to eat horses. Bunch of cowards. All right. Um, uh, people living in our new houses, though, that's good. Only two homeless, that's great. We'll have that resolved here pretty soon once we get these extra buildings done. Although we do keep getting messages that we have too many homeless. Um, still not bringing in enough stone for my taste. Uh, Lumberjack has gotten built, so let's assign him to cut down trees over here. Very good. Probably sh should actually have him cut down trees over here first, because this is a good this is good land for building indus industrial areas and uh, other things like that. Doing fine on food. Um, don't need tools quite yet, but we're gonna need them before too long. Was it take two tools for each house? So you know, I mean, I guess I'll just start buying them, but we are. Our money is not like going up by any means, although it's supposedly it's supposed it should be it should be going up four dollars what a month um, every hour. So I'm not sure what an hour is in game. Oh wait, I guess I do know what an hour is in game time. You can see right there that 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 amount of time is an hour. So it's probably like once a minute or something like that. Um, yep, yep. Our meat production area is full. Let's keep staying that way. Because apparently we have no haulers to haul things and put them where they go. I need to give it a little bit of time. Um, nobody's bringing in logs. Because I guess our lumberjacks keep getting killed by bears. <laughs> um, speaking of, I should move you over. Move you. I say move you over here to gather up that bear meat. No point letting that go to waste. Another thief. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. So what, he stole a log or something? Can we get it? Can we get our guys to uh, to attack him? That'd be nice. Where is he going? Is he just like gonna run off the map? Oh, he's probably gonna try to build a thing. 
Okay, well, I guess we can't get our guys to attack him, so never mind. Um, but what we can get everybody to do is uh, be on pause until we get back with the next episode, because this one is over. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I really hope you are enjoying this and glad to be back for the next series. Uh, we'll see if we can have this town do a little better than our last one, but who knows? Um, this is a very fun game, and uh, if you haven't purchased it, maybe consider giving it a buy over on Steam. Uh, oh, I don't think it's for sale to the public yet, so never mind. But it will be soon. Put it on your wish list over on Steam. And um, I believe I saw the developers are ready to put it into early access. So uh, a very polished game for early access. Uh, leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Uh, click that like button. I will see you next time. Bye.